Good afternoon, church, and Father God and I welcome you here with us, and uh, what a joy it is to be able to come and share from his holy word with each and every one of you. It is just, uh, it's just such a, a feeling of great joy that um, we, we can open ourselves up to when we go into his word, and we uh, can share it with one another, and um, as I come to you, I want to share a little bit about how he opened me up today of of seeing that you know what when we stay focused on on the purpose we have and that is to help others to see him and to know that they are loved and that no matter what they're doing if they go into an open attitude of knowing that they were placed there to do this to help serve others and that it glorified God when they were grateful to be able to do this and then how he uses us and how we think about uh, you know we're there serving him and we do we do that with great joy in our hearts when we are uh, his followers um, the earlier this morning I had an opportunity I had to be out and about in movement to uh, to go to a office visit for myself and that would that went wonderful it was such a great blessing to be able to go and I thank God for the the care that our doctors can give to us and how they oversee our health and the wisdom that they have and the knowledge that they have so I'm in praise and worship for that and as I was leaving there I needed to stop before I went into the next movement of sharing a celebration of life uh, from a blood brother that has uh, crossed over I had to stop and pick up some things at the supermarket and as I was in there I was up in the aisle where you get your produce and this beautiful this beautiful young lady was just putting things in order and it was just it just re, just made me feel good that she was doing it in a way that you could just see that you know what she was enjoying what she was doing so the lord moved me to compliment her and to thank her for doing such a a wonderful job of making things just look so appealing and so nice that I could walk in and not feel overwhelmed by having a messy produce aisle. So in that conversation, we were able to start talking and sharing our, our walk of, of love for God and our faith of where uh, we are. And uh, it was just wonderful to be able to interact with her. And I complimented her and she was certainly so grateful uh, for that comment uh, and compliment given to her that as we were sharing the verse came to me was Colossians 3 verse 23 where we need to be reminded whatever you do work as it with all your heart as working for the Lord and this is exactly what I was encouraging her to know that you know what I was able to see how the Lord was using her to serve me and many others and I could see that flowing from her as she was doing such a such a neat uh, a neat job, and it blessed me because it gave me great joy to see the reaction that came from her and what joy it gave to her that she was being recognized. Because in our conversation, she did say that she just didn't sense that a lot of times that appreciation was not given for them from you know from their um, place of employment or from others and she appreciated me a recognizing what she was doing and she said you know someday she says I have to remind myself that I'm grateful to have my job and I I need to let others have a little bit more uh, easement of when they're shopping she says when I tell myself that it seems like the boredom and less complaining about what I do on a daily basis, she said, it seems to be lightened. And, and we know this. We know that, that we, no matter what we're doing, great or small, and if we, you know, we approach things that we're doing with this attitude of knowing that whatever you do, work as it with all of your heart as you're working for the Lord. That eliminates us from complaining 
And when we open ourselves up of being grateful, it certainly allows the Lord to flow from us that others can see instead of us being hindered from having joy move from us to other people. And it was just great. I'm sharing this with you because it reminded me, no matter what we're doing, great or small, whether we walk in the ministry or we're in the walk with the church family, we're out there and we're able to share and appreciate those that are serving the Lord in, in ways that goes on recognized. And today I was just given such great joy to be able to see this, 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 this awareness that this young lady, she connected and shared her walk with me, uh, of being connected to the Lord. But as we chatted, it just glowed from her even more. And, I can almost assure you, along with myself, she is just full of, of great joy of just knowing that, you know, she was serving the Lord today. And how she was doing that was by being grateful, but she was also serving others. And I was one of those because it was so great to have that organization and having that presentation. I'm not feeling like, wow, I had to search for anything. It was right there. So the next time, brothers or sisters, that you're in a grocery store or you're in a department store and you see all of those that are working and organizing and making things so pleasant, go ahead, move. Let the Lord take you into that place of showing gratitude and appreciation for them because it opens up a great conversation of being able to share the Lord but also to let them know that they are appreciated no matter what they're doing, how great or small. And when we move with this, no matter what we do, we have an open heart of worshiping God. And we see everything we do, all, all, of, all of us that work and carry out jobs, if we open up and know that this is serving God and how it helps others, it helps us with our attitude. We seem not to want to complain. We go more into being uh, praising him, being grateful. This attitude will certainly remove any drudgery or boredom that you may find yourself walking in some days. If you just remember you're serving the Lord and you do it, serving him with all your heart as if you were working for the Lord. It's just so powerful to be reminded of all these great teachings. So that is from my heart today of what I experienced and what a great joy. And I hope I was able to come and bring that joy to you by telling you and sharing from God's holy word. So let us pray. Oh, well, Father God, I'm so grateful, Lord. Thank you, Father, for the word today and the reminder that Lord God we need to be grateful and thankful for those that are serving you and serving you you and making things easier for your your people and I thank you father and Lord no matter what we do we we serve you and we do it to bring you the glory Lord and father thank you for the insurance that we have from your holy word that no matter what we do Lord whether it's small or great, it's all important, Lord, and everything is needed as you place us in these positions to help others and to glorify you. Father, we thank you, and we know, Lord, that spreading the good news of the gospel, Lord, is done in so many different ways. Just let us be aware, Lord, that there are so many opportunities to be able to to communicate and to share the love we have for you with others. Let us be open and see that, Father. Open our eyes to our heart, Lord, as we, we come to you, Father, and seek more of you and less of us. Be with us, Father, and continue, Father, to remind us how vital it is, Lord, of spreading the love that Jesus has given to each and every one of us. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for being able to see that things are being done with those, Lord, that may not be on the front line serving you. It's all of us that serve you with an open heart, knowing that, Father, it's done for you. 
whether it's on the front line or behind the scenes. We praise you, Lord, and we thank you in his name, our Savior and our Lord Jesus. Amen. Bye-bye.